What is up guys, welcome back to Dan Reviews, and today we're going to be doing another discussion topic video for The Walking Dead mid-season finale, which airs tonight, uh, so uh, check that out tonight, I'm so excited, but for this one we're going to be doing a kind of topic type video, we've done a couple this week, uh, we've done the PPP one with Heath, Does It Mean Whispers, uh, and uh, yesterday we did the one with Rosita, Do I Think She's Gonna Attempt to Kill Negan, so I'll put both of those links in the description below, and uh, also finally, I am going to be doing a video talking about do I think, uh, or what do I think is gonna happen to Daryl after he does or does not escape, just what's gonna happen with Daryl in the next kind of half season, at least until the end of season seven, what do I think is gonna happen with him, let's talk about it. So. We know that someone, we don't know who, has let him escape. Um, gave him the, the, the you know, the, the, the paper and says, go now. Who is it? I'm going to go for Jesus. However, because I don't, I don't really think at this point Dwight would take that risk anymore to, uh, you know, to, to, to do that. Because let's say Daryl does escape. If, if it was Dwight, obviously Negan's going to blame Dwight. And most likely, at this point, probably wants to kill him. So he might, if it comes down to how it goes like that. So I think, honestly, that I think they're going to have to do this in a way where uh, Dwight's going to have to beg for his life. I honestly do. Um, however, what's going to happen with there? So let's say Jesus lets him escape. He breaks him out, so to speak. Um, will he go back to Alexandria? Will he go to the hilltop uh, kingdom? doesn't even know about that place, but, uh, you know, Hilltop, Alexandria, I think those are his two options. I honestly don't think he'll go back to Alexandria. I don't think he'll take that uh, chance, and I honestly think that he knows that Negan, that's the first place Negan's going to decide, well, we need to go to Alexandria, we need to get him back. That's going to ring bells to Negan, he's going to be, well, he's clearly going back to Alexandria, so... We're, we're obviously going to do that. We're obviously going to go to Alexandria. Most likely kill Daryl right in front of them. Honestly, I could see Negan doing that. Just to kind of show Rick that he is still in charge. You know, he's still he's still up there. He's still kicking. Obviously, they can't kill off Daryl. So, um, at least not right now. I don't feel like it's a good time for uh, killing off Daryl anytime soon. So, maybe in a couple seasons, but not right now. Uh, so, um, maybe I think another thing they could do is have Daryl actually go to the hilltop with Jesus. Um, he's He's been there, you know. Um, Maggie and Sasha are there. There's some people there that he knows. Uh, you know, um, maybe not have... They, maybe he hasn't had the biggest relationship with, between Sasha and Maggie. You know, he, it's not one of the people he hangs around with, like, all the time. Like, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's not Carol or Beth. It's not someone he's close to. But they, they're still people that he survived with for a long, long time. Uh, so, could they do something where uh, maybe, you know, he, he goes to the hilltop, sticks around there for a while, hides in a closet with Maggie and Sasha, that type of deal. Honestly, I think that's possible because Negan, Negan wouldn't even think that he would be there. there there's no way he would think that. Um, kill, could he kill Dwight? He could try, honestly. I, I think he actually could try or try to burn the other side of his face. I don't know. Um. I mean this way. Uh, sorry, my camera's opposite sides. So, anyway, could that happen? Uh, you know, it, it's entirely possible. I'm honestly, yeah, I think it's gonna it's gonna go that way. I think he's gonna probably stay at the hilltop for a while, at least until and probably hide in the closets, just like how Maggie and Sasha are doing. Every time Simon's group comes to the hilltop, because Simon said to Gregory, "I'm your new Negan now," so he'll be the one going there every time. It's not Negan. He's not as smart. At least so far from what I can tell, Simon's not as smart as Negan. You can basically tell. Uh, he might be close, but he's not 100% as smart as Negan. I don't think that at all. Uh, not for one minute, no. But could could they do something where there's a couple obstacles going around? Could they do something where maybe, I don't know, man. Like It's, just, it's, it's a very difficult uh, decision of what they're going to do with this. Are they going to have him stick at the hilltop until uh, all out war and then him, you know, once they're in war, there's, you know, he can start fighting back because there's nothing they can do. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that's what they're going to go for. 
So honestly, I do feel like Daryl probably, he th he's either going to stay at the hilltop. What happens if that can't happen? What happens if Dwight or somebody else stops him? I honestly, I honestly feel like that could still happen, and I think that's like 80% for sure that it will, honestly. Um, however, Jesus is very sneaky. He's very, very crafty, very sneaky, very, you know, uh, out there and that type of deal. So, he, he could create a diversion. Uh, what kind of diversion? I'm not sure. Dwight also, Dwight, I think everybody knows that Dwight hates Negan. They show it in episode uh, three. Episode three is like a Dwight-centered episode. They really show you how Dwight's just doing this because he has to. In episode seven, they showed us more of that backstory, even more, with him kissing Sherry right in front of his eyes. Yeah, and you see it in his face. He just wants to attack him, but he can't because he doesn't know who's faithful to Negan and who's actually not. I feel like Simon is. I feel like Simon is faithful to Negan. I do think so. Who's... You know, who, who's here to, you know, show and tell, right? Uh, but do I think that uh, Dwight, if he finds Daryl and Jesus, could try to take him back? Or will he actually let them go? That's an interesting question. I honestly, because how can Negan say it was Dwight's fault? I think the only way that they can do that is if Dwight was responsible for Daryl. You can clearly tell when they left. He said, Dwight, keep him in the cell for a while. And he said, Dwight, keep him in the cell for a while. Which means he's kind of telling him, you're in charge of this dude until I come back. So, you know, that that's obstacles. So, honestly, I'm going to say, I honestly think Dwight's just going to, I think he's going to, I think it's, I'm going to say right off the bat, I think Daryl's going for the hilltop. I, I don't think there's any other option. He's going for the hilltop unless I'm proven otherwise tonight. Uh, but, could they show, like, some kind of cliffhanger? type thing if maybe uh, they're heading for the hilltop and the savior stop them or something and then we don't see them until next half i hope they don't do that because i have a feeling they could do something like that where they have some kind of cliffhanger type thing with all that kind of situation with daryl jesus and the saviors and all that uh they could end that in some kind of a cliffhanger but don't forget michonne's heading for the sanctuary right now at least most likely unless that girl tries to to do something to Michonne. I don't think she will because I don't think she can. She's already tried. Michonne is way too tough for her. But when she gets to the to the sanctuary, Negan's not going to be there. Is Dwight just going to let loose? Is he going to let Daryl go? Is he going to tell Michonne that he's at the Alexandra safe zone? Is Dwight literally just going to let everything go just, just terrible in the entire environment? Is he just going to let everything go? Is he just going to let Daryl go to the hilltop? Is he just... Is he going to risk his life? I do think he will. Because I think he's that mad that I don't think he's going to be actually thinking straight. I, I think Dwight is heading in that kind of direction. Um, will Negan try to kill him? If it comes down to that, I think that we could see Daryl maybe try to save him. It, it, it could happen that way. Um, you know, people say, well, Daryl can get his revenge on Dwight. It's it's still possible, but I think now we're, we're seeing a different direction because... You'd think we'd see that already, unless you're pushing that into the all-out war or second half or something like that. But I honestly feel like Daryl, <clears throat> he kind of understands Dwight, uh, Dwight now. Now that Daryl's seen the sanctuary, now that he's seen what Dwight, like what Dwight's world is, he kind of gets it, you know? He's like, because you remember uh, when he locked him, you know, you remember? He's like, you're going to wind up in that room or hanging on the fence. And before he shut the door, Daryl said, I get why you did it. You know, uh, you know, you you're trying to protect yourself. You know, you know that type of deal. So I, I don't feel like Daryl's as mad at Dwight anymore. That that's what I'll say. So uh, yeah, guys, let me know uh, what you guys think about this topic in the comments below. I've got one video before the mid season finale airs. I have to get all these three videos uploaded somehow today. Uh, so I'll try to find some time. I will do that though. I uh, I will get each video uploaded. So if you like the video, please sum it up below. If you uh, um you know share, comment, uh, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.